In this Bubble tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use this amazing new plugin by Minimum Studios, Drag and Drop Repeating Group. I have tried over the years all of the plugins that uh, supposedly enable drag and drop in repeating groups uh, and none of them work as well as this plugin and it literally only came out a few days ago and I can't wait to demonstrate it to you. Uh, so in my bubble app I'm going to add in a repeating group and uh, set it as type contact. and. Uh, yeah, being able to reorder a repeating group, this is going to be essential if you are trying to build Kanban boards or you're building a project management or task management tool in Bubble. Uh, this is just going to add so much to your app. Um, so uh, we then have um, columns, let's set that to two rows uh, and let's just make this a little bit wider and uh, make rows, uh, columns to, into three. Great, uh, then let's add in some labels, um, make it a little bit responsive as we go. Uh, so this is going to be uh, current sales contact first name, current sales contact last name, make it fill up the cell. And uh, great, okay, so for the source, the data source for this repeating group, we can't use a do a search for uh, because a do a search for hasn't got an order to it. Um, but what we can do is we go on page load and then if I show you here, on the page itself, I've already set up a custom state uh, of contacts contact list. Uh, so that means that on page load, I can set state of my page contacts and here is where I can do my search for uh, contacts and just to show you from a previous demo I've got this data as a data type contacts uh, a list of people and then I can give the data source uh, my custom state which is my page contacts. Let's preview that. Okay, so there are my contacts. Now let's make it drag and drop. Uh, so the plugin that we'll be using uh, is this one by Minimum Studio uh, and I've already added it into my bubble app. So uh, I add the element to the page and then uh, I need to do a matching up of the HTML ID. So uh, on repeating groups under ID attribute, uh, I can call this RG for repeating group contacts. Copy and paste that into here. Uh, I need to add a hash before because it's an HTML ID. Uh, and then data type is of contact. Handle would be if you only wanted part of the cell to um, enable drag and drop. Um, but that looks like I have everything that's needed. Uh, oh, one last thing. In the documentation, they do make it clear that you need to have show all elements immediately. Okay, so let's try dragging Peggy Carter to the, to the start. Let's drag Natasha Romanoff there. Uh, and we see it's working. So this obviously is really rough in its design in order to make this video quick, but I will do one final thing uh, just to make it work a little bit more nicely by adding a background color. So now when I drag it over, it works wonderfully. So I'd really encourage you to go and uh, check out this plugin. Um, I've just been amazed by what I've seen on Twitter over the last few days. Um, and uh, you can even do things such as uh, dragging items between multiple repeating groups uh, and also there's a method for saving the reordering after you've reordered your cells in your repeating group. Um, so I might record some future videos on this plugin depending on uh, how well this video goes down um, but I just wanted to show you how having tried so many different Bubble plugins to add drag and drop to my Bubble apps in the past, uh, this one is by far the best out there and I really rate it. So go and check it out.